Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be doing the Holly Jolly Tag 2nd Edition because Strawberry Electric 48 and Beauty Baby 44 I believe started the 2nd Edition tag so I'm really excited to do it and I'm even more excited because Strawberry or Christy on YouTube who's another beauty guru, I'm sure you guys know who she is, tagged me to do it in the description box and I was like, oh my gosh, she knows that I exist, like I was fangirling. Had a fangirl moment but then we got over it so I'm just going to do the tag and there are 15 questions so we'll just jump into it and I will have a list of other girls who I tag down below who you guys should definitely do this tag because it's definitely getting me into the Christmas spirit so I'll have some girls down below um, and of course you guys can do it too if you want to. So question number one is do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until the last minute? I would say I probably would start it on Black Friday usually. I don't shop for a ton of people really, it's just pretty much my mom, maybe some friends and um, some of my co-workers at work that are my main people I have in mind this year for Christmas shopping but I would say Black Friday because on Black Friday even though I went Black Friday shopping this year and I did not get anything for anyone else I just got stuff for myself um, but usually if I can find stuff for a friend or family member um, then I would definitely buy it on Black Friday I try not to wait to the last minute because it's really stressful um, not only is it really stressful but a lot of stuff sells out really really quickly so um, and then by the time it's almost Christmas, like, just stores are cleared out of stuff. So try to do it early, if at all possible. Question number two, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? I would be in The Christmas Story, and I actually think that's a question coming up, but one of my favorite Christmas movies for the holiday is A Christmas Story, but the very old edition, because I know that they're coming out with a new one, which looks really lame because I like original movies. I'm an original movie kind of person, so I really like the one that came out in like the 60s or maybe 70s, 80s. I don't know when exactly it came out, but it was a long time ago, and ever since I was little, I grew up watching that every single year. Um, and I just really like that movie. It's a Christmas story. So I would probably be in that movie if I had to pick one. Okay, number three is which do you like better, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Probably Christmas Eve because you still have Christmas Day to look forward to. And usually we would have Christmas dinner on Christmas Eve. Sometimes we would have it like Christmas night too, but usually it would be on Christmas Eve. So I would say Christmas Eve because then you still have all of Christmas to look forward to to spend with family or friends or whatever you guys do. So definitely Christmas Eve. Number four is when does your family put up your Christmas tree and who decorates it? Um, let's see. Usually we try to break it out um, the day after Thanksgiving or sometime very soon after Thanksgiving. This year me and my mom actually just got a Christmas tree like two days ago. We went to Home Depot and we like chopped down just this really small Christmas tree. I Instagrammed a picture of it actually and a lot of you guys were saying it was like really cute and it's like my little chunk Christmas tree so and it is live too and I haven't gotten a live Christmas tree ever since I was like two or three. I was really small because ever since then I've always had a fake one um, but yeah we picked out a live one and I just love the smell of live trees so usually sometime after Thanksgiving um, we try to get a Christmas tree and then for who decorates it usually me and my mom will decorate it uh, but over the past couple years it's kind of turned into just my mom um, but I know probably next year I will try to decorate it with her but usually it's just my mom. Number five is white lights or colored lights and that hands down I would have to say both. I, I can't choose. As you guys can see I have both in the background. I have colored lights I would say mostly colored lights on the Christmas tree and then for like decor or decorating around a room or outside I would say white lights. Okay, number six is are you guilty of peeking at your presents or do you like the surprise? I have been guilty at peeking at presents definitely in the past when I was a little kid. I know I would go through like my presents and stuff. Not all of them, but some of them, you know, I was like curious about, so I wanted to see what I got. Um, but for the most part, I would definitely keep it 
as a surprise just because I like being surprised on Christmas Day and there's something about just being a little kid and um, not knowing what are in the in the gifts that are all wrapped so number seven is would you rather live in a gingerbread house or in Santa's workshop hands down a gingerbread house because I would eat all the candy and eventually I would eat the gingerbread house chunk probs number eight is tell us your Christmas Eve traditions usually on Christmas Eve like I said we would have dinner and when I was really little, um, my parents would actually give me a gift um, on Christmas Eve, like one little small gift, but I'm not sure what me and my mom have plans for Christmas Eve this year. I don't really know. Um, maybe have dinner at my aunt's house or something like that. Number nine is if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone in the world, who would it be? <laughs> Zane from One Direction. I'm sorry, I just have to. I had to say it, I had to say it. Number 10, what tops your Christmas tree? And actually I don't have a topper on this tree, but on, that tree's fake obviously, but the one downstairs that's the real one, we have a little star on the Christmas tree and it's glittery and I know when I was little I think we had a star that would light up, but now we just kind of stick like a little star, maybe ornament at the top. Number 11 is can you name the 12 day days of Christmas? On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love came down. Oh gosh, no, I'm not even going to deal with that. So no, I definitely can't. I know I would sing it when I was little, like in elementary school, we would have like a little play and sing it, but I am not really sure about that right now. Number 12 is have you ever gone Christmas caroling? And I did a lot when I was little, when I was in Girl Scouts, me and um, my friends who were also in Girl Scouts and like all of our parents would go Christmas caroling in like hospitals um, where people were like really sick or um, you know obviously in the hospital for some reason and we would go and do sing Christmas carols with them and it was really nice it felt like really really good even though I was so young I probably didn't really understand it um, but I know it definitely probably like touched the hearts of the people who were in the hospital um, because that who wants to be like sick or you know have something wrong with them where they need to be in the hospital around the Christmas time because it's such a fun and cheery time um, so yes I do remember going Christmas caroling when I was younger in Girl Scouts and we'd go to like doctor's offices and hospitals and it was a lot of fun so I really really enjoyed Christmas caroling back then. Number 13 is do you count down to Christmas and I don't really. The only thing I have is downstairs and it's an advent calendar, which I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's like a little fabric and there's a little star. So every day you move the star to that day and there's like a little pocket for every day. So um, like every day in December. So that's kind of the only way I count down to Christmas. Oh, and then the next part of that question is, if so, how many days are left? And today is, what is today? I lose track of the days. Today is December 8th. So I'm guessing there's, what's 31 minus eight? 30, 28, tw oh man, I missed 29. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. 25, 24, 23. 23 days! I think. <laughs> Did I do that right? I don't even know. I think there's 23 more days till Christmas um, as of today, which is the 8th. Number 14 are what are some foods and treats you count on having every holiday season? Hands down, it would be my mother's Christmas um, Rice crispy Rees. And I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that before, but it's basically a rice crispy treat but molded into the shape of a Christmas wreath so it's a circle and my mom puts food coloring in the Christmas treats and or the Christmas what is it rice crispy treats and then she would sprinkle the top with like red and green M&Ms or sprinkles or frosting or something like that so definitely I'm very excited for that because I love rice crispy treats and usually my mom just makes so many fun little desserts and stuff so if you guys follow me on my vlog channel, then maybe I'll vlog that when she makes it or something like that. Um, so definitely that would have to be the one thing that I look forward to every year along with a lot of stuff. My mom usually makes homemade banana bread. She'll do homemade rum cake, which is delish. And number 15, the last question is, how has Christmas kept its magic for you as you've grown older? 
I think as I've grown older, unfortunately, it's definitely kind of lost a little bit of magic. And I think that's the way with a lot of people when I was younger, which is how it should be when I was younger. It was like such a magical time of the year, but now that I'm 18, it's still really fun, um, but it's definitely changed a lot and dynamics have changed in the family and just a lot of stuff has changed so it's not as magical and um, exciting and whimsical as it was when I was smaller um, but I think that's kind of the same for a lot of people um, but it shouldn't matter whether it's magical it should just matter that you're enjoying the Christmas spirit and you're spending it with people you love and surrounding yourself with positive energy and friends and family and all that stuff so Definitely, it's still a special time of year, but not as magical as it was when I was a little kid. Um, so that concludes the Holly Jolly Tag 2nd Edition, and thank you again to Strawberry Electric 48 for tagging me in this tag. And like I said, you guys should definitely do this tag, and I will have a little list of girls and maybe guys on YouTube who I think should do this. And I tag all of you guys, so I hope you guys are having a really great December and Christmas time with friends and family. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, everyone.